Just joking on it, guys. Jelly. Uh, and jelly just stuck in my throat. Hey guys, it's Ken from KVD Productions TV. Welcome back to the Thirsty Thursdays, just for you. Today I've got Where's My Challenge? We're hanging out in Toronto, near Chinatown, yeah. and we saw this bubble bubble tea place. Uh, but at first I'd like to say thanks for coming down to Toronto and right. doing this one food review. They'll be flying out tonight. No, they yeah. won't. <laughs> so, Thanks for having us. No problem. So we came to this place called uh, Bubble Teas on uh, Dundas Street, and they've got all these different bubble teas and a lot of you guys have been asking me to do bubble teas for a while, so today's the day. Yes. And we asked uh, what was her favorite, and uh, the lady that works here, and she said the crystal taro. And then it was seaweed jellies in there. Yes, but, no, but they, 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 they change it. Yeah, she said there's no seaweed. They don't oh, do seaweed right. jelly now, so we had to have the tapioca instead. Tapioca jelly, which is funny because this is exactly what I wanted. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, when I, if I was ever to come here and try it, or something with like caramelly type taste. That's when I see some of the pictures, that looks like a caramel. What did you get? Well, I actually asked her for what she didn't like, yeah, and I, so right. I went for the uh, the roasted oolong iced tea latte. And that is with uh, roasted oolong, whatever the hell that is. I don't even know what that is. And with grass jelly. If you ever, have you had grass jelly before? No. But she told us that it tastes it. like earth. Oh, she says it's a very earthy uh, bubble tea. <laughs> I'm not tea. a massive fan of grass jelly either, so you've got that looking forward to. Mm. I, I, and I don't like it. I don't like everything. <laughs> One cool thing about it, it comes with a lid that is like yeah. fused onto it. And then you just had to pierce it with your crazy long, big straw. Yeah, it's a fat straw. Check how big that is. Hey, ooh la la. <laughs> ooh la la. Ready? All right, one, okay. two, three. Ready? Nice. Ooh, nice. So I guess they make it that big so it's you can dead. suck up the jellies. It's dead now. Let's give it a shot. Okay. Three. We've killed it. Right. Two, one. Cheers. 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 Mmm. Wow. Oh, that's sweet. Wow. The jellies are in there. I don't know. They're, they're like um, they're very, fun. they're like very soft um, gummy bears. Mm. Very. And yours? What? Can you, can you suck up one of those things? Yeah. The grass jelly. Oh god, I don't think it's, I don't think they're suckable. Mm. At this point in time, it tastes like custard. Yeah. Just a jelly and yeah. the, the mix or whatever is in here. Is yours like custard too? Um. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, do you know what? It tastes actually quite. Actually, very nice. It tastes very nice. I would actually buy this. Yeah. Legit. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. She might have a different flavored taste bud. <laughs> I got jellies in my mouth. Mmm. Describe what you're drinking. Oh, you know what? We might be drinking that on the bottom. Mm. Maybe we have got to stir it up. What jellies are those again? The uh, tapioca. The tapioca jellies. It oh, just reminds me like a, bl a blueberry milkshake or something. Another blueberry and then a bubblegum milkshake or something. It's really strange. I mean, put yours down for a sec. See the um. Thank you, sir. Mmm. Mmm. That's not flavored at all. Try it. That's not as much, much flavor as that. This is really sweet. Mm. This is more like a milkshake okay. type. Oh. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> <Sorry. coughs> <laughs> so good on it, guys. <laughs> jelly! <laughs> oh. And jelly just stuck in my throat. <laughs> Vomit, <lad. laughs> Look at the tears on my eyes. I knew jelly tea would kill me. What they call bumble bubble tea? Tuna. Bubble bee tuna. Mmm. Mm. I agree, yours has a lot more flavor. Mine's kind of basic, really. No, it's almost like a tea. Yeah, well, it's a latte, isn't it? It's a oh, right. tea latte. With grass jelly. Mmm. Pull your straw up and try to just get the top stuff. I did, yeah. and it's um, it's really nice. It's actually really good. It's like um, at this point in time, it tastes like a custard milkshake, a very uh, ru a runny custard milkshake. It reminds me of like a bubble gum, um, like milkshake or something. That's what's so. It definitely has the. the it's cold. Uh, tons of flavor, uh, tons of sweetness in this one. Much better than that. Not, one. not much sweetness in that one. As you can tell, he really liked it. I did. I actually did. And, and, but I the thing is, like, I love lattes and stuff. It didn't really taste to me like like a latte because yeah. I love cold lattes as well. 
I've talked about in the past about milkshakes with things in the milkshake, mm -hmm. and I usually don't like that because yeah, bit, I don't like bits. As well. I don't like to chew the drink, but this is kind of like a fun, mm. yeah, yeah, a yeah, fun drink to drink. Well, That's probably why it's so popular. I was swallowing them whole a minute ago, so like just all of it going down. Oh, look, they're stuck in the straw. So let's rate this, guys. Guests first. You want Matt? You want to go first, bud? I would say I recommend that. Uh, yeah. It's not go out and get because you know, like obviously you guys didn't even like it that much, but I recommend that. Yeah, yeah. I, I recommend this too. I mean, it's. Um, I don't think I'd purposely like. I don't think this is something that you can go out your way. I'd go out my yeah. get, but no. I, I can imagine it walking around in Chinatown. A, but in a hot, hot day, and like you go past it, but this would be very refreshing. So I, it's, I recommend it to have it. Yes. On my rating scale, I definitely would. That would be an indifferent for me. Um, what would that be for you? Uh, what's yeah, indifferent. Yeah. Indifferent or would not recommend. No, indifferent. Yeah, because it's, it's like it's not bad. It's yeah, it's, you can drink it. and It's not like you had to spit oh, it out. Oh, it was good. That's a, to me as if I had to spit something out. That's a would not recommend. No, no, if you could drink that and go, eh, I don't like that, then that's an indifferent. Well, no, it's I wouldn't buy that like again. It. It's just a bit. Mm, uh, this this was actually quite good. I would totally recommend this again. It was the Crystal Taro. Uh, with the uh, tapioca mm. bubbles tapioca, in the bottom. Uh, I think it's incredible as well. Yeah, I think I'm glad that it didn't have the other, the seaweed jelly. Because that was, your was, no, it didn't have any seaweed jelly. No, right. it's yours was the grass, uh, grass, grass, jelly. Jelly. grass jelly. See, I prefer, little, I prefer the little yeah, they, balls they, of jelly. Balls. Ooh la la. Ooh la la. Anyway, guys, uh, I would totally recommend that. Wouldn't recommend that. <laughs> I'd like to thank you guys once again for being thank in this video. Us, I appreciate that. Would you recommend us? I would recommend <laughs> Where's My Challenge, all the way from Southampton, England. Came here just to drink tea with me. That's so nice yes. of them. Anyway, they're here for another few days, so I hope to check out their channel. If you like this video, though, give it a thumbs up. Ding, 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 ding. And we'll see you next time on another Ken, Polly, and Matt Thirsty Thursdays. Out. Boop.